Hey guys, what is up? It is the World Changer here. I hope you guys are having a good day. This is a quick video on how to watch region locked DVDs on your MacBook Pro and how to burn DVDs on your MacBook Pro 100% legal and free. Before I get started, this is only for 100% personal use for people that can't access their DVDs when they want to. Piracy is 100% against the law and I do not support it. Unfortunately, my brother went to America and brought back some DVDs for me that were region locked and I live in Australia so I can't actually watch them. So, I put them into my DVD player and when you guys put your region locked DVDs into your DVD player on your MacBook Pro, you guys should see something like this. Now unfortunately, most people think that when they open their DVD player it comes up with this and gives you the option of changing the region, but you only get five chances and once you've changed it more than five times, you're stuck with the last region you had it. So you want to completely ignore this and you want to go down to your DVD player and you want to double click on it and then click quit. Now you want to open up Handbrake. If you don't have Handbrake, don't worry, it's in the link in the description. Go ahead and download it, you will need it. Now your DVD should be under devices on the far left and it should have the title of the movie or the TV show. As you can see, mine says King of the Hill. Once you've clicked on that, you want to go ahead and click open and then it'll start scanning the movie. Depending on how big the file is, it should take anywhere from 30 seconds to 2 minutes. So now guys, if you haven't already seen a pop-up on your screen when you opened up a uh, handbrake, it should have said that they don't support burning DVDs and it should give you a link to a third party software. If it didn't give you a link to that third party software, I will give you guys this link. It will be in the description. Go ahead and install the software into your computer. It should look something like this. So there's two links. Go ahead and click on the second link. If the second link doesn't work, click on the first link. So guys, before you go ahead and start the ripping, you guys want to make sure that you clicked on the right file. Mine says 22 minutes and 30 seconds or whatever. Now if you guys are doing a movie, it should say, click on the one that says 1 hour and 30 minutes or 1 hour and 40 minutes or 2 hours because that's the one with the big file, that's the movie. All the other ones are most likely trailers and deleted scenes. In my case, we're doing a TV show, so that is all uh, 22 minutes and they're all the same. But I'm clicking on the first one because that's the first episode. So you guys are going to want to click start on the top. Make sure you only click it once. If you click it twice, sometimes our handbrake glitches out and it closes itself out. So you guys just want to wait for it to uh, prep itself. And then it will start scanning and, and then it will start burning. And depending on how large the file is, it could be anywhere from 7 minutes to an hour. Mine, myself, was 5 minutes because it was just a 22 minute video. Most likely when I've done other movies, they've taken half an hour. So guys, once you're done, you want to go ahead and click OK and then exit out. Unless you want to add another TV show to burn, uh, go ahead and choose another file. Otherwise, if it's just a movie that you've been doing, then go ahead and exit out of it because you're completely done with the handbrake. Now guys, once you're finished with all of that, it's the movie or the TV show should be on your desktop. And then you guys want to go ahead and open it with whatever software you want to use. And as you guys can see right there, there is King of the Hill. So guys, I hope this helped you guys. If it did, please leave a like and a comment. It really does help my YouTube channel. And if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. I do a lot of Call of Duty stuff and I do a lot of games. I do a lot of random stuff on my channel. So go ahead and give it a subscribe. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, as always, the world needs love. Don't forget where you come from. Don't die holding on to your words. Because you know that you got a whole world to change. Understand who you got to change first. Put them up, 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 up.